Some toughies, so uh, we're not going to do a whole lot. Oh wait, we're just starting with... Oh, oh I get it. Pick, pick it up where we left off. Okay. So we are doing one point. plus one on the other side. Okay, well, there's no easy way to do it. You just have to square both sides, which is fine on the right side. We kind of, it's kind of like number like three and four. Um, the right side's no problem, right? That square, square goes away. It's just that this left side is a mess. Because when you square two terms, you have to foil it. The whole thing times itself. Okay, but at least we'll get rid of one of the square roots, this, this one, but the left side's still a mess. So, foil first. What's square root of x plus 3 times square root of x plus 3? x plus 3. x plus 3, yeah. When you multiply square root times itself, it just cancels out. Okay, outside, what's negative 1 times that? Negative. Just square negative x square root of x plus three. 3. Inside, see, it's the same thing. And the last is negative 1 times negative 1. That's the right, or left side. The right side is just x minus 6, that's the easy side. Okay, let's clean up the left side a little bit. Uh, minus square root of x plus 3 minus square root of x plus 3 is minus 2 square root of x plus 3. Then we have a plus 3 and a plus 1 make a plus 4. by itself, or the square root of x by itself, x plus 3. So it's just subtract 4, divide by negative 2, that's it. You got to kind of clean up around the square root. Subtract 4, uh, by the way, I should warn you guys, um, I'm going to make the evens worth 2 points each. One, one point for showing your work, one point for the right answer. If you show no work, it's minus two. <clears throat> right. So we're not doing a lot because these some of these problems are kind of beefy, but uh, actually the first two are the longest, 11 and 13. Okay, negative two, divide by that, kind of like you would on this problem, divide by negative two because it's multiplied to x squared by x plus three. You guys like my adjective beefy? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then to get rid of the square root, you square again. Now 
we got rid of all square roots. X plus 3 equals 25. So therefore, x is 22. You guys remember a trick from yesterday that we talked about? Sometimes when you square both sides, you get extra answers, so you should check. I know there's at least one problem on the evens that it's not going to work. I have a quick question yeah. about 10. Is it a fraction? I don't know. We'll look at it later. So, you ask me later. 22. So if I plug in 22, I get 22 plus 3 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. Minus 1 is 4. On this side, I get 22 minus 6 is 16. Square root of 16 is 4. So it works. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Anybody need to look at that? I'll just float it right there for a moment. 13, um, 11, 12, 13, 14, they're all kind of the same. So 13, it says to the one half power, so guess what? Square root of 2y plus 5 plus 4 equals the square root of 2y plus 6. Almost do it, but three and less than ten. Just, you just keep doing it. She's like, I'm ashamed of my life. <laughs> Start keeping a tally. Wait, okay, wait, so you're not doing what actually? I'll just, I'll just go over here and mark it. I'll just keep it up all year and we'll Keep me busy. Um, okay, so do you guys see how it looks now that I put square roots in? It looks the same as number 11. So we got to do the same thing. So this is squared and this is squared. So, can I move that? Yeah. I'll just put it right here. Square root of 2y plus 5. 2y plus, plus 4. All right. So first is this times itself. So it's just 2y plus 5. Outside is 4 times that. So it's just 4 square root. Inside is the same thing, plus 4 square root. So altogether we have plus 8 square root. 2y plus 5. That's outside and inside together. And then last is 4 times 4. 15. Then on the right side, it's the easy side, the square root goes away. And just like last time, if you subtract the y's, two minus two y minus two y, it's just going to go away. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify the left side. On the left side, we have eight squared of two y plus five plus twenty one. Now it's kind of like an 8x plus 21 equals 69 problem. Just want to subtract the 21 and divide the 8.
last few steps, I don't think you necessarily need to write those down. It's kind of basic. Okay, let's see if it works. 31 over 2. Uh, this was the original right there. 31 over 2 times 2 is 31, plus 5 is 36, square root of 36 is 6, plus 4 is 10. 31 over 2 times 2 is 31, plus 69 is 100, square root of 100. Fifteen. It says two cube root of y plus five. When I was in college, I had a math teacher that would, between everything he said, like he would never just be quiet. He'd always say, "Ah, uh, the probability, ah." Uh, and one time, me and the guy, the friend I sat next to, we would like tally how many times he said, uh, in class. <laughs> I don't think I learned much that day. It was 24 in one class. Maybe that's a Miss Williams. The uh, thing? No, no, she guess. said boys and girls. Oh, boys and girls. Boys and girls. All right. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. Why would you be like eighth grade if she would say like eighth grade class? Eighth grade class. Okay. Now what? This is kind of like uh, it's kind of like uh, 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 this part right here, right? We're just starting, like right there. So we want to get the cube root by itself. So just, yeah, minus 18. Divide by 2. You don't have to show every single step. I'm showing just show a little bit. Whatever makes the most sense to you, I guess. How do I get rid of a cubed root? You cube it. Cube it. Cube it. Can you use cube as a verb? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Okay. Y plus 5 equals 2 cubed is... So Y is 3. Here's the thing about uh, cubing. It keeps... If it was negative, it would stay negative. If it's positive, it stays positive. So you don't get extra answers when you have to cube both sides. So y equals 3 is guaranteed to be correct. Although you could still check it, just to make sure you didn't screw up. Three halves, yes. Okay, what did a plus three to the three halves mean? It means a plus three is cubed, but what does this mean? Square root, second root. So it's two times the square root of a plus three. Actually, I could kind of do that backwards. You could put the three on the whole. Anyway, it's okay. Yeah, divide by two, sure. Um, I could have put the cubed out there. That would still be right. I think I'll just keep it there, though. So, we got the square root on everything. How do I get rid of a square root? Square. So, I get 8 plus 3 cubed. Got rid of 
root of the square root equals 729. Is that right? I thought somebody was pushing buttons. How do I get rid of the cube, though? So what's the cube root? What's the cube root of seven twenty nine? I think it was nine, right? Anyway, a is six. Uh, is it possible that six is wrong? Yeah, it is possible. We squared both sides at one point, and that's where things get dicey. Uh, so we should check six. Six plus three is nine. Squared nine is three. Cubed is 27 times two is 54. It works. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. One more. X plus three to the two thirds. Two fifths equals nine. What does x plus three to the two fifths mean? It means x plus three is squared, and the whole thing is also to the fifth root. So it's fifth root x plus three squared. All right, how do I get rid of the, let's start on the top. How do I get rid of the fifth root? Square root five. Fifth power. Times nine is a big number. Big number. Exponents are powerful things. They get bigger fast. Okay, how do I get rid of the squares? Okay, I know this is probably confusing, but this is actually the first time we've square rooted both sides today. We've squared both sides, but we haven't square rooted. It's been a while since we've done one, so let's back up for a second. Yeah. Um, You're like, not again. <laughs> Just so you could point it. Not again. Okay, the only one that this is going to apply to on the evens is the only time you have to square both sides on the evens is 20. So watch out for this on 20. Oh. It's having bad luck. What was the square root of that big old thing? 243. Plus or minus. Okay, but it's plus or minus. Try harder, Trey. So it's it equals two forty three or it equals negative two forty three. So it's either subtract three two forty or negative two forty six. because we took a fifth power and odd powers maintain their negative or positive identities. So on 18 there's a possibility that that one's wrong because it's to the fourth. Um, yeah, okay. 18 could be wrong. Got it. I know for sure one of them is wrong because okay. there's like a, there's a no solution on the evens.